Hello everyone, today I am going to give you a quick tutorial on how to implement a ceramic tile identification and detection system. So let's just run this file and see the output. So uh, here are the images which I have downloaded. So these images are basically first one is the perfect tile image which is not having any crack and second is the image which is having a crack. This is basically a defected tile image and this is basically a perfect tile image so let's just first uh, upload the perfect tile image and test the code so here it is popping up the message that it is the perfect tile so let's uh, test the defect tile let's just upload the defect tile image and see it is showing that this is the defective tile so this was the output so let's come to the implementation part so basically uh, this program basically helps us to detect a crack on a ceramic tile and it also uh, works for rejection so we can even use the Arduino uh, hardware support with serial port to find the normal plain tile and crack tile so what uh, if we are coming to the implementation part let's see what we what I have done so if you can see uh, first we are getting the type of the file like dot jpj and then select a tile then uh, we are reading the file and this code is basically uh, if size i 3 is basically refers to the dimension third dimension of the image if uh, third dimension if the if we are having the rgb image are basically the grayscale images are represented as two dimensional matrices like height and width and RGB true color images are represented as three dimensional matrices height by width and by color plane so it is just showing if we are having a RGB image then it is converting to the grayscale image then uh, we are applying adapt theset to q function for contrast enhancement so the basically this adapt adapt uh, adapt the hist uh, hist equal equalization function uh, enhances the contrast of the grayscale image by uh, transforming the values using contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization that's why why it is like adapt hist equal it is basically the acronym of adaptive histogram equalization so in the next we are just denoising the image by applying some media filter function then we are applying the edge detection by using canny edge filter uh, we are using canny edge filter because canny edge detection filter is the best among all the filters if we are using robert sobel log filters because uh, a canny edge detection filter is able to eliminate the noise and detect the uh, edges uh, meanwhile the other edge uh, detection filters fails to uh, eliminate the noise then we are basically applying the morphological function to extract the area of interest image of interest and the we are displaying the final output so that was the code thank you for watching